How is it going, everybody? You're watching Then About Tech, and today I bring you a new method on how to individually lock any app on your iPhone, absolutely any app. I set it up for Instagram just to show you, so take a look. So, as I tap on Instagram, it's gonna instantly lock and show me the lock screen. On a split of a second, you can't see anything on the app. It's so, so good, this new method. And of course, if you wanna take a look at the app or your iPhone as a whole, all you have to do is use Face ID, swipe up, and then here's Instagram or any other app for that matter. And then of course, here's your iPhone. So you can easily individually lock any app with Face ID, Touch ID, or of course, your normal passcode. Let me show you. So, as I mentioned, this is a new method and your iPhone must be running at least iOS 16.4. As you can see, I'm running 16.4.1, so make sure your iPhone is updated, otherwise it'll not work, okay? On top of that, we'll use an application for this, and that's, of course, Shortcuts, the Shortcuts app. And the new method is right here inside the Shortcuts app, You'll see it in a second, okay? So, take a look if your iPhone has the Shortcuts app installed. If it doesn't, go ahead, open up the App Store, and then go to Search, and then search for Shortcuts, install it. Of course, this is a native Apple application. It's free, so everyone can get it. Oh, and by the way, if you think this is the exact same process as you've seen before on this channel and others, it's not, okay? It's a new method, and I've got a way to hide the Shortcuts app. So stick around, all right? So open up the Shortcuts app and then go to Automation right here in the middle, Create Personal Automation, and then scroll down until you see App, and then go ahead and choose the app that you wanna lock. Keep in mind you can lock multiple apps and I'm gonna show you how you can do that in a second, okay? So tap on Choose, and then here I'm gonna go for the same app, so I'm gonna go for Instagram once again, and then Done. And then as you can see, Instagram, great. Now, all you have to do is tap on next and then add action. So tap here and then on the search, you're gonna go for lock and scroll down a little bit as you can see, lock screen. And this is what's new. Apple has implemented this new option in the shortcuts app to lock the screen and this is new in iOS 16.4, okay? So this is a new thing in the shortcuts app. So tap on lock screen, as you can see right here, and then you can go ahead and tap on next. Now, it's pretty much done, but of course you have to actually disable ask before running. So then tap on don't ask, and then leave both these options turned off, okay? As you can see right here is perfect, great. Now, tap on done, and then our automation is done. So then I can exit the shortcuts app, and then I can tap on Instagram, and as you can see, it does the thing. Every single time, it will work. If you exit the app and then open up once again, it's always going to work, okay? This is absolutely great and awesome and super, super safe. Now, let me show you how you can actually edit this automation if you wanna change the apps that you wanna lock or unlock, maybe. So tap on shortcuts once again, and then tap on your automation that you have created, and then right here, super easy, tap here on when Instagram is open, Instagram or, of course, the app you have selected, and then tap on the app once again, it's kind of highlighted in blue, and right here you can easily switch. So you can tap here on as many apps as you want, for example, tap on done, and as you can see, any of five apps. So I have five apps now, okay? So then you can easily select or deselect, tap on done, and then it's right here, good to go. Now, remember when I told you that this new method, in this new video that I'm creating right here, I'm gonna tell you how to hide the shortcuts app because this is a very common thing. People will say, okay, Daniel, this is great, this works, but if somebody goes ahead and actually opens up my shortcuts app and delete the automation, it's done. I mean, they have deleted the protection. Well, there's a way we can hide the shortcuts app. The first thing you gotta do, of course, is remove it from your home screen. So tap and hold, and then go ahead and remove app, remove from home screen. So then it's gonna go away and it's not in plain sight, as you can see right here. But of course, that's not enough. Uh, what you're gonna do is actually go ahead, open up your settings, and then scroll down until you see Siri and search, and then keep scrolling down because here you have a list of all your apps so keep scrolling all the way until you go to letter S, 
for shortcuts, right? And then right here, you've got shortcuts, tap on it. And then what you're gonna do is disable all those options because you're gonna make shortcuts not searchable. So harder to find. So then uh, disable all those options, as you can see right here. And this is just for shortcuts, okay? So then if somebody actually gets your iPhone, they're gonna look for the shortcuts app, they're gonna not find it, and then they're gonna go ahead and pull down on the search, right, spotlight search. And then if they go to shortcuts, they're not gonna find it because we have removed it. So they won't be able to find the app. On top of that, I recommend that you go ahead and use multiple home screens as I'm using. So then they'll have such a hard time taking a look at every single app and looking at it, looking if they can find the shortcuts app, and then it's gonna already take some time, okay? And then of course, they're gonna go to the app library and then it's not gonna be permanent right here. So it's not gonna be highlighted in the app library either. So then they'll have to go ahead, tap here on app library, and then look for the shortcuts app. So as you can see, this is not 100% because unfortunately there's no way to fully 100% hide the shortcuts app, but trust me, this is the best you can do. And trust me again, most people, when they get your iPhone, they're gonna go ahead and open up the app that they wanna see. And then if you have the protection set up, as I showed you, it's gonna show the lock screen game over. And with this hiding of the shortcuts app as well, trust me, you're gonna be super safe right here. And so that's how you individually lock any app on your iPhone, new method, 2023 iOS 16.4. All right, so that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.